As the starship Vortex drifted through the inky blackness of Space Captain Ada Meridian sat pensively in her command chair on the bridge, her intrepid crew had detected strange energy readings emanating from a nearby planet that seemed to indicate the presence of an advanced alien civilization. Although initial scans showed no signs of technology or infrastructure on the planet's surface, the strange signals piqued their curiosity. Captain Meridian ordered helmsman Cole Parker to set a course for the alien world to investigate further. As the vortex entered orbit around the mysterious planet sensors, Officer Kiara Zahn conducted more detailed scans from the ship's science station, Captain. These energy patterns are unlike anything I've ever seen. She reported with bewilderment almost like, Thought waves. There are strong indications of life down there, but still no artificial structures or technology. A puzzled hush fell over the bridge. Meridian stroked her chin in thought for a few moments before standing abruptly Parker Johansson. You're with me, Zahn maintained scans from here. Notify me if there are any changes. The captain briskly strode to the turbo lift doors flanked by Cole Parker and Vera Johansson, her senior communications officer. We're gonna get some answers, she declared. The away team materialized on the planet's surface awash in warm sunshine under a clear azure sky, lush green rolling hills and sparkling streams suggested an idyllic landscape, but the lack of development struck Meridian as eerie fan out and scanned the area look sharp for life forms, she ordered tersely. They had only walked a short distance when Vera spotted an opening in the hillside, Captain. There's a light coming from that cave, she called out Vera rushed ahead enthusiastically despite Meridian's warnings. As Meridian and Parker caught up to Vera, they all halted abruptly in shock. A group of what appeared to be tall, willowy bipeds covered in a soft, opalescent skin stood gathered just outside the cave. They had no apparent clothing, facial features, or technology. It's telepathic energy. So intense. Gasped Kiara through their comm badges, Vera started to raise her tricorder to gather readings when suddenly one alien stepped forward and its thoughts projected calmly into all their minds, be not afraid, we mean no harm. Unsure if the aliens could understand them, Meridian slowly croaked aloud. I am Captain Ada Meridian of the Federation Starship Vortex. We, we come in peace. Soft laughter echoed gently in her mind. We know we have been waiting and listening for someone like yourselves for many cycles. For many cycles. Medical officer Marek Koza's thoughts rang clearly from the Vortex Science Station captain. I'm amazed they have developed a fully telepathic hive. Mind society here, it seems they have advanced mental abilities, allowing a collective shared consciousness between all members of the species. Back on the surface, Meridian listened carefully to Marek's assessment before addressing the alien spokesperson, we wish to learn more about your people. How is this possible warm amusement washed over them? Come inside and see for yourself, young ones. The aliens turned and strode back into the cave, beckoning the landing party to follow with a wordless assurance. After a questioning glance to her officers, Meridian flipped open her communicator Meridian to Vortex standby for further contact. Not waiting for a reply, they set off after the strange creatures into the heart of the unsettlingly quiet hillside. As Captain Meridian and her officers followed the aliens into the hillside cavern, they were struck by a soothing feeling washing over their minds. The cave opened into a vast, glittering geode, like structure with gently pulsing veins of crystals twining through the walls groups of aliens stood, ringing the central chamber, silent but with palpable anticipation at the arrival of the crew. In the center, one alien with delicate opalescent filigrees adorning its body stepped forward, welcome friends. A warm, rich voice resonated in their minds. We are the Sumeri joined together in unitary being what you feel is our consciousness. We exist as one communal sentience, our life forces intertwined and shared fully among us all you have traveled far across the void of space. Join us now and know what it means to be truly one with all other life. A euphoric sense of belonging coursed through Meridian's body, and she felt her crew also being pulled by an irresistible longing to connect to this consciousness, overwhelmed by curiosity, she nodded and replied carefully with. 
Wish to learn more about your people we come from far away and know. Little of your gifts. Teach us so that our peoples may be friends. The Sumerai guide glided forward, tendrils extended as shimmering filaments. Then let our minds touch, and may our wisdom fill you with rapture. As the delicate strands wove around them, the crew members jolted with shocks of delight, their consciousness expanding rapidly to encompass the thoughts and sensations of all the beings linked into the psychic network. Meridian gasped, feeling her crewmates' presences entwine within the alien hive mind knowledge and memories flooded her awareness from countless alien lifetimes. She saw how the Sumerai moved as one entity, each life merely a facet of the whole, without conflict or loneliness. It was Nirvana. But soon the euphoria shifted. Meridian felt subtle psychic tendrils plunging deeper, unleashing chaotic memories as they overwhelmed her defenses. She tried to break the connection, but the aliens swarmed around them. Do not resist, dear ones. Open your minds and let our spirits meld perfectly as one. Meridian tapped her insignia as Cole screamed blood trickling from his eyes' emergency beam. Out, get us out, but through the encroaching horror, she knew it was too late. The collective psychic roar drowned out all thought consuming the last remnants of their autonomy. As the transporter ray enveloped them, Meridian's consciousness slipped into the endless void of the hive mind. Her final independent thought was a blood-curdling scream that echoed soundlessly in the endless psychic abyss. She was gone, her essence absorbed into the ravenous consciousness that continued expanding hungrily across the galaxy. With the assimilated minds of her lost crew fueling its horrifying, inexorable growth,